Hello, I am Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will look into how to deploy an ASP.NET Core 2.0 application with ReactJS to Azure Web App using Visual Studio 2017. We do have a prerequisite for this. Very first, we need to have a Microsoft Azure account for accessing Azure services. Secondly, we need to have installed in our machine Visual Studio 2017 version 15.3 and ASP.NET Core 2.0 SDK. So let's start. Let's open up Visual Studio 2017 15.3 and create a new application. So ASP.NET Core web application provide a good name. React.js app. Okay. Now, as you can see, ASP.NET Core 2.0 provides a template for React.js application to have an application with React.js. Select this template and click on OK. This will create an project structure with React.js application. Here it is. Let's run it. Control F5. So project has gone started. It's running in local host. Will take few seconds to load. Yes. So this is the basic React JS ASP.NET code application with few logics and API columns. So let's deploy this into Azure Web App. So for this, you need to click on project name, right click and click on publish. So this window will help us to publish this application to Azure Web App. It has different methods to publish like this is the web deploy method, this is IS FTP through folder through import file or through Microsoft Azure VMs. So for this video, we will be selecting this web deploy method as our deployment method. Let's click on publish. Now you need to logged in with your Microsoft Azure account in order to get fetched all your subscription details in this win in this window it has given a default name for this application you can change it as per your choice and this name will be your url like react.js app dot azure websites dot so as you can see it says this name is not available available now let's change it to react.js core I believe this will be available. Yes, so there is no error as such. It fetched my subscription. This is the free trial. I have created one user resource group. So it has this other user group, uh, resource group, sorry. So by default, I am selecting this as core apps. It has created an app service plan. You can create a new or you can leave it as it is for the default one. Let's click on create. So the deployment has been started. The step 0 of 2. It will take few minutes to get it deployed. Now it came to deploying step 1 of 2. So it has started. And then it comes to this window. So as I said earlier, your application name would be added with azurewebsites.net as in public cloud URL. The publish window is still disabled. You can see the deployment status in this web publish activity tab. Here it will log on every details.
npm is getting installed the files will be moved on to cloud meanwhile it is getting deployed we can go to our azure portal resource group so this were my resource group and we have deployed in this core app you can click on app service also and you can see it has created and react js app core with the app service plan which was selected with my subscription we can go to resource group click on core app okay so the application is deployed and it's now open in the new browser as you can see it's react.js appco.azurewebsites.net great the application is now deployed on azure web apps it's live you can come to our portal as you can see the app service plan and the app service under the resource group core app let's click on this web app and it will show you all the details the url app service plan the resource group subscription details so with few steps and very seamlessly we deployed our asp.net core 2.0 application with react.js to azure web app hope you like this video kindly subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you happy azure coding